Hi guys, welcome this Sunday and it's the first day of this year that people can actually sit out on the patios in the Netherlands. And today I'm super excited because I'm introducing a new product. It's a four in one color foundation and I've not just created one, I've created five different colors. Now I'm going to talk a bit in this video about how foundation is made with a little insight and also then how we can use this particular found type of foundation to its full advantage. So first of all, how foundation is made, well how I make it, is I make it in two parts. I make different pigment concentrates, which is just the pigment, and then I create the powder base, which is just the white powders. So we'll talk about pigments first. So it's easier to create um, pigments in large quantities. But you'll see here, I'm showing you how, when I'm formulating, when I'm trying to find a new color, that I first of all start with a little coffee grinder and I put like a smidgen of this in, a smidgen of that in. So we start with the raw pigments and we deal with, naturally, we deal with oxides. So here we have red oxide, brown oxide, which is a mixture of brown and red oxides, black, yellow, ultramarine blue, and chromium green. Now, when these are all blended together in the correct proportion, it turns brown. And we obviously want various shades of pigment concentration in order to have to work for various skin tones. For example, um, if I want it to be more of a cool, uh, in other words, for cool undertone skins, then I will have a little bit more red in the pigment concentrate. If I want for a warm undertone skin color, I'll have a little bit more yellow and a little less red. So you play with the colors until you get the exact concentrate that you want. And as you can see here, I've got the pigments and I, put, I start by formulating them in small um, blenders to start with. And then once I have the exact uh, recipe, then I upload it and basically um, upgrade it to a la much larger quantity so that it's always consistent every time. So instead of dealing with a smidgen of that and a drop of that, I'm then looking at 100 grams of this, 100 grams of that, and I make, then make it in a much larger container, and then I can just use it from there. Now the pigment itself only makes actually a small fraction of the foundation. The real key to a good foundation is the base that it's put into. So the bases that people will use are things like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Um, I use rice powder, most people use talcum powder. I personally don't want to use talcum powder because it's been known that it has a little bit of asbestos in some of it. So I don't want to be putting asbestos on my face, especially loose powder that I can breathe into my lungs. So you need to look at, you know, when you're looking at buying any makeup, do look at the ingredient list to see if there's talc in. And if it's at the top of the list, you'll see it's the main ingredient in that foundation. Now it doesn't matter whether you're using uh, by mineral foundation, liquid foundation, it's always using the same uh, pigments and powder and then to make a liquid foundation, it's the same way, it's just that instead of being a powder, it's put into a liquid, a liquid formula such as silicone usually, dimethicone, and then it's sold as a liquid foundation. So that's a, a little bit of how it's made. Now I personally, um, you can add a lot of goodies into your foundation. So I like kaolin clay, I like silica, which is a natural component of skin. In fact, it's a natural component of our body. And zinc oxide, of course, magnesium stearate. And my main component, the main base is um, cosmetic grade rice powder, which is, has a lovely silky soft feeling on the skin. And some formulators use a lot of mica, sericite mica as well. So I, in a foundation formula for mineral foundation, uh, for covering the skin, you want the product to basically stick onto the skin. So it has to have something that sticks like zinc oxide, 
onto the skin. You want to have a nice glide and flow and you also want it to cover up any blemishes. So that's what the base does. And then the formula is usually a, a few percent, only a small amount of actual color pigment concentrate goes into the loose powder at the end. So that's basically how we make the founda mineral foundations. Now to get these colors, what I had to do was separate out the colors that I put in as a whole in the pigment concentrates and make the, um, use all the yellows, for example, and the red. And I put a little bit, sometimes there's a little bit of brown in there, the green and the blue. And what I then do is I, that's mixed, the pigment concentrate, say for the red oxide, is mixed with the amount of base to make the red. Now, when this all comes together, it comes like, it, it turns into a brown color. So I formulated this to look exactly or similar to the cool canvas foundation that I make. So what I did was in order to make sure that it did work, was I took all four of these colors, ground them up together in a coffee grinder to make sure that the color would turn out correct. You see there? So this is this color is that. And then I went ahead. So this cool canvas is good for cool undertone skins. It's about medium range in the um, pigment. So I, that's my color. So I started with that. And then I cre then created two other colors, a lighter color. You see, it's much softer. This is for a warm skin undertone and really goes with barely beige, which is a light foundation that we sell. And then a darker one, which you can see it's a little bit more darker. The red is mixed with a little bit of brown oxide as well as red. And all these, although it looks like there's green, the greens are slightly different in each formula. So that goes with warm velvet in our line of products. And then what I then did is do some in-betweens because they are very different. As you can see the pictures of the finished three foundations, which are these mixed together, you'll see the colors that come up. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how I applied, how I apply these foundations, how you can use them. And I'm gonna narrate over the top so I don't have to be speaking while I am applying these foundations. Now I'm going to apply my Color Fuse foundation. I don't have any face makeup on, but I do have my eye makeup and my lip makeup on. You have to start by tapping or shaking the bottom of your color palette. And then how you use this is you can use the individual colors to cover any imperfections. For example, here I am applying green, which helps to combat redness and neutralizes imperfection. And I have a little bit of redness on my nose, so I'm applying the green to the nose area. Now I'm going to be applying some yellow corrector just underneath the eyes as yellow combats under eye darkness. It helps also to achieve a bright and radiant look. So you can use on other areas of the face. And last but not least, I'm going to apply some rose to the cheeks and to the outer area of the face to act as a natural, uh, natural blusher. After addressing specific concerns with, with individual colors, you can apply the complete color fuse foundation using a sponge or using a brush to apply over the whole area. I use a brush and a kabuki brush to really blend well into the face. Don't forget the neck area as well. This color fuse foundation mattifies, blurs, and illuminates to reveal improved and natural looking skin. 
Our unique formula, enriched with light reflecting pigment, imparts a radiant complexion in, in any environment, day after day. Witness the transformation as your skin becomes more beautiful and radiant. This color fused foundation is 100% natural and is good for all skin types, especially sensitive and allergy prone skin. It currently comes in five different shades and it feels so soft on my skin and my skin feels like it can breathe. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video and if so, please like and subscribe and comment below and have a wonderful Sunday wherever you may be and it's bye for now.